Hello kids. Let's learn about area today. Area. Let's make some brownies today. You have 30 students in your class. Here you have two trays, one red tray and one blue tray. If you need to make brownies for all your classmates, which baking tray would you use? Red tray. Why is that? Because red tray is bigger and has more space inside it. Yes, you are right. In other words, a red tray has more area than the blue tray. Area. Yes, area is the space inside a shape. This is the area of the red tray and this is the area of blue tray. Wow! Area can be defined as the space inside a shape. The area of this square is the space inside this shape. And the area of this rectangle is the space it covers. The area of this circle is the space inside the circle. Wow! Here you have two papers. You are writing a letter to your mom on Mother's Day. You have a lot to say. Which paper would you use? The yellow paper or the pink sticky note? Yellow paper. Why is that? Because yellow paper has more area. Yes, that's correct. The yellow paper has more area than the pink sticky note. So, you can write a lot more in the paper than the sticky note. Wow! Swimming pools! Yes, you have two swimming pools here. If you need to go swimming with your whole family, which pool would you choose? The yellow pool. Yes, the yellow pool. Yellow pool has more area. The yellow pool has more surface area than the purple pool. Now comes the tricky part. Look at these two trays. The pink tray is tall but the blue tray is wide. Can you tell me which tray has larger area? Mm. It's a bit confusing, right? How do I find out? Don't worry, let's find out. Here you have some square tiles. These tiles are of the same size and shape. Let's cover the area of the trays with the square tiles, placing them side by side. Let's start with the pink tray. Once you have covered the whole area, let's count them. 20 Yes, it takes 20 squares to cover the area of the pink tray. Area of the pink tray is 20 squares. Let's move on to the blue tray. Fifteen. It takes 15 squares to cover the area of the blue tray. Area of the blue tray is 15 squares. So, you can say that the area of the pink tray is larger than the blue tray. Right! Mm. 
Measuring the area of an object means measuring the space inside it. Let's measure the area of this rectangle. Let's use some paper to measure the space inside the rectangle. Count how many papers you will need to cover the area of this rectangle. Area of this rectangle is 2 square papers. Things to remember when measuring area. Non-standard measuring units must be of the same size and shape. You can also use units like cards, tiles, legos, wooden blocks, sticky note, etc. Keep the units close together. Fill the whole area inside the object. Right! Also, keep in mind not to overlap. Do not place measuring units on top of one another. Do not use different sizes or shapes. Do not leave gaps. Yes. Let's find the area of the object using smaller squares called square unit. A square unit has a length of one unit on all its four sides. Let's cover the area of this shape with these squares and then count them. Twelve. The area of this object is 12 square units. 12 square units. The area of this object is 37 square units. 37 square units. Hope you had fun learning about area. <laughs> area is fun. Please subscribe. Thank you for watching.